Don't you think so, everyone? Don't matter what it is going on, especially all those flood victims right now out in Trinidad. It happens all over the world. Do you know that? Last year, over 40 million people was affected by flooding in India, Bangladesh, and Nepal. Over 1,200 people died. Okay? In Bangladesh, places like this, these things happen over and over. Every year, there's flooding. All right? So we want to... This is where it comes in from. We want to do this now. Every one of you logged in tonight, click subscribe on my YouTube. Share this right now. You're watching it, share it. All right? I want you to comment. I want you to like. Okay? So every one of you, good night and welcome to QOA. Wednesdays, questions, opinions, answers. And tonight, we want to go straight into my GoFundMe to raise that funds for those people, all right, in Trinidad who lost their homes. But I won tonight. I felt differently. I think not only people in Trinidad should get help. I think we should help people in India as well, in Bangladesh, help some people in Africa, help some people where, let's equalize it, in Guyana, all right? So this is what I want to do. So. You see my GoFundMe right here, that link, click on it. GoFundMe as a rule, you could only put, we wanted to put $1. We just wanted you to put $1, but they only, you minimum you have to put is $5, guys. So I want you and your friend to, your friends, four other friends, put a dollar each. Let's change someone's smile on their face. All right, I reached out to some organizations I emailed in India. Who knows where these people are the flooding in Bangladesh. So let's do this, not for my people in Trinidad. And I want to call out some people tonight that they are family members. And let me tell you, I saw a little sad video of my cousin, Megan. And I just want to say, listen, my love is out there for you. She was flooded out as well. And I see you lose stuff. Rise raising this money, Ra got you. Her dad I all, was always beautiful to me, my uncle. He was always, he's a great guy. He was always sweet to all our cousins. I don't know maybe if he would ever say anything to me. I'm about but in front of my face. He always treated me with a lot of love and showed me a lot of love. And I want to give back to you. We raise this money. You are one of my members of my family members. Yes. And if they say I'm being biased, I want to help you. All right. I don't speak to you much. Maybe we don't communicate, but this is love that we have as family. And also I heard my aunt and my uncle and some of my cousins in St. Helena also got flooded out. And I am sorry. I know we don't communicate that much, but let me tell you guys something. When I was a little boy, this my aunt to get away from my troubles as you guys know my little thing with my my story about my stepfather my videos i used to be happy to go for vacation by my aunt or to be with my cousins and let me tell you something these people they're not rich people but they used to make sure they have us happy and we used to really be happy as kids for all that they do for us and i want to be there i don't know if i if you would accept the appliances that we got a budget for so we could try and do a stove a fridge and and a mattress for a household and food items as well this is what we're trying we and we i see the gofundme has reached where we can do one family and this is making me so happy so we want to do more families i want to try and do a hundred families in trinidad somewhere else like bangladesh india wherever it is we don't want to just do this for one country i want to see this go up to millions because one dollar guys one dollar with four of your friends that makes it five dollars you can donate and any one of you can donate that and I'm telling you this I'm not a preacher or anything this is my show but I have seen people we've been I've been speaking every week about love I want you all to show your love and support I want you to put that one dollar together with four of your friends make it five dollars and you put that click on that link and put that $5, know that you're going to put a smile on someone's face. It's going to happen. I'm not telling you to stop at a dollar or $5, but I'm begging you. That's your minimum. Please do it for these people, not for us. 
Trust me, you all are going to see something happening that's different in the world. You help me. I am going to help these people. I don't have the money to do it for myself. Otherwise, I would have been there doing it already. Don't say, oh, this guy doesn't know what he's talking about, that the government is giving back people in turn that $10,000 or whatever it is. Hey, let me tell you, I see some damages. It's really sad, all right? But again, I don't want to come too much into it, but you guys are blaming, and it's a lot of blaming when we go into my show. Stop blaming. It happened. It's a natural disaster, all right? Stop blaming. All right, every one of you logged in again tonight. I'm gonna beg one more time. Click on my GoFundMe link. One dollar with four of your friends will be five dollars. Please just donate. Donate. We are going to make some changes. We are gonna help these people put a smile on their face. All right, but right now, everybody's getting help from the flooding and whatnot. They're getting food stuff and whatever. When it's over, a week after, something like that, you guys would see these people would need you. All right. So yeah, I was saying about my aunt and they, we have a budget. This is what we're going to give. If you guys, even self, you guys don't want what we offering. You guys can take that, whatever that donation package is and do something good with it. All right. So I'm not forgetting. But then again, I have my friends like Vicky Ram Charter and Collins. They need the help as well. So, but the others, I was asked, how would I choose the families? And listen, we will choose the families when that time comes. I know it's over, um, how much hundred a one hundred thousand people was affected by these this this flooding and, and my heart goes out to every one of you all right good night again you guys welcome again to your life experiences with Ra. all right those on instagram i know it's kind of dark you could jump across on facebook your life experiences with Ra. uh youtube this video is going to be perfect for you guys the one on facebook all right everyone on instagram good night welcome to your life experiences with Ra. good night everyone on facebook and welcome to your life experiences with Ra. all right so let's jump in my show so we ask everyone already hello hello sandra i see you let me call some names sandra caroline marissa jody crystal nita well this one is not going up any further so all right i see all of you good night and welcome to your life experiences with Ra. All right, so you know, we started a show, I'm not sure, but we are going to overcome. And I'm telling you, take it from Ra. When I tell you would overcome, you would overcome. When I reflect every 10 years back in my life, I have come a far distance. All of you, you know, your life experiences with Ra. Every single week, I teach you all something. If I reflect, every week I reflect on an episode right where i helped you all to make your life better and you all have known this all right if some of you i know you all pour that love out to me and thank you so much for all my messages always all the love all right that you're all giving me i thank you have you been loving yourself like that and some of you said you have seen all the episodes on your life experiences with draw if you haven't i'm telling you go back check out the QOAs. There's lots of information that you all can have and get from it. All right. So let's go. You know what it says? Help someone not for the reward, but the sake of changing a life. You see that again, donate, click on that link and donate on that GoFundMe. I'm telling you, you are going to change someone's life. All right. I want to thank people for donating so far. At the at the beginning, I thought no one is going to do it. I know it's at twenty five thousand the mark, but I'm telling you, I want us to make a million. Nine million people in New York City. If one million could put a dollar each, we are going to change the smile, change the face on someone this this coming holidays because we're going to make some families smile. Those flood victims. No matter if it's where it is, but we are going to do it evenly. All right. Please help me, every one of you. Let's make this possible. The money is not for me. The money is to help people. When you go to sleep at night, think I give a dollar. It's like shares in the market. Remember I told you all I do life insurance. When you own part of something, all right, your dollar counts. All right. So it's like a share. You give someone a washing machine. You know that. Wow. No, sorry. A fridge, not a washing machine. That's an, you know, so you give that dollar, you know, hey, 
I made Sandra smile tonight because you know what? She had a new refrigerator that she didn't have to put her vegetables or her food for her children to eat or her milk in the fridge. And I helped do that. My $1 did that. Guys, you can do this. I'm begging you all to help someone smile. All right? So before I jump into question one of the night, um, the, the, the sender of this question sent me a quote right that he before he sent his question he he tell me that we have a discussion he says i want you to read his quote and i love the quote all right i can't call his name he asked me not to call his name the difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do and what you have to do to get where you want to be may not be pretty or may not come easy. And the reason I'm reading his quote out for you guys is because I want, because he answered his question for himself by, by that quote. And that's why I read it first. He says, Hey Ra, I'm in a relationship with someone who is older than me. And this is a crazy part. I know her birth month and her birth day, but not her birth year. She always hid this from me. She always give me some random age. We have been together for five years now. We do similar work and our everyday life allows us to see each other or be around each other. She's a temple going type of woman. For some reason, I can't get this woman to settle down. She tells me clearly she is not ready for to have kids or get married. And this is what I'm all about. Getting married, having kids, and sh settling down is what I'm all about. Now my family is very close to me, and they see all that's happening. My, my simple life, I'm a simple guy, home to work, to the gym, and back home. All, all my other time is being with her. I don't know what to do, and I really need you help to figure out this. Okay, figure out this rock. My family is telling me that I should not have anything to do with her and move on with my life. It's been three weeks and we really don't have nothing to do with each other, but it's hard. We do see each other every day, as I mentioned, but I'm not in the way of, not in the way of romance, only work related. I really love her and I can't stop thinking about her. Please tell me what should be my next step. Ooh. So what should be your next step? I think you, I think you answered that your next step already because you said that. Let's read it over. The difference between who you are and who you want to be is what you do. And what you have to do to get where you want to be may not be pretty or may not come easy. All right. So yes, you know what you have to do. You Okay, I got to move off the, the comments on Instagram. Sorry, I'm not able with the crazy comments. This guy's on my thing again saying some bad stuff. Okay, so let's go. Right, my friend. You want, you want advice on what your next step should be. You know what your next step should be. Your relationship is not going anywhere. It's not heading in the direction of what you want. You want a family. You want kids. And it's not happening for you. All right? So, so what's, all right, I'm getting thrown off by that, that fool on, on, on Instagram. I don't know why I got to bling this off. Yeah. So anyways, right. So you want to leave this person um, at it right now because you're just going to end up hurting yourself as we had a little discussion and you told me that you're hurting. Now, you're hurting in a sense that you want a lot from the relationship and she don't want it. Right? So you have to focus on what you want. You have to make that changes for yourself. All right. You see... Most relationships, they fail because a person was being loved too much and the other person was be wasn't being love loved at all. So you see, you have two different things all together, right? 
So you are fighting for the relationship that has really, really sunk because you spoke to her about being to get like getting married and having kids, and she's not in for that, right? You say she's a temple going person. A person could be a temple going person, or they don't. They don't. Um, they don't. Let's say um, they don't feel the same way about you would have nothing to do sorry i'm so thrown off i'm gonna have to take off my instagram because i really hate the hate that i'm seeing over there um i know it's not really bothering me it's just that it, it the comments he's using and telling other people i think it's really weird that you would come on my live to do these type of things where i'm helping people where we're sharing the love you don't know what my show is about don't come on my show and with your negativity my show has no negative towards anyone i have no idea why you on my wall if you don't like it leave that's all you gotta do because you're making yourself the biggest idiot that was ever born all right now you can go with that all right guys so as it says so you, you're concentrating on this girl that really, really, really doesn't want, want to make a commitment. So I'm telling you, you, as you said, for the past three weeks, she has, for the past three weeks, she has done no kind of communication as we spoke. She has not shown any type of, what, remorse towards the relationship ending for the past three weeks. All right. I know it's hurting you. It's bothering you a lot, right? And it's bothering you a lot. And you really, really, really love her. But if it's not going anywhere, you got to let it go. All right. Okay. So we went into these relationship um, questions already. So I don't want to go too, too much in depth with it. Again, look back at my episodes and you would see. Sometimes some people just want differentness, difference, a big difference in their life. Some, and it doesn't make them be a bad person. All right. So look back at my other episodes and you would see. I want to connect this question with another question I saw on relationship. And since we're on that topic, right? Never ask relationship advice from someone who is single. They want to see you alone like them. That you see that question right there what you said that person now i snapped this off someone's instagram story now that person said that i went to that person my question to them was did you ask that person why they're single or why they give it to the answer in you so negative have you ever asked that question who doesn't want to be loved who doesn't want to be in a relationship who doesn't feel lonely at times when they are alone right? Think about that. So, and then you will ask yourself, if you ask that person for advice on relationships and they're making it sound like relationships are horrible, you should ask them why they speak like that. Because at the end of the day, they will tell you that they were hurt, right? And with that, you would understand why. Give them and let them give you some details on it. I am telling you, don't judge the person that's single and who knows they might be giving you some really good advice all right I can tell you how it feels like how we spoke about um, how we spoke about my your life experiences with drama my interview that I will have with Rahul Maharaj again promoting for the last time no when you hear the story you would hear you know I love the movie Kabi Alveda Nakahena all right, this was in 2006 after being in a cheating relationship on things that that was not going away and knowing that I was not happy that movie helped me to understand so much that helped me to move on with my life and actually that made me stronger it made me look at things differently it made me see things with a new eye that was something that was really really meaningful to me that movie made me see things differently and let me tell you something all of you knows this that you can make a change in your life when someone else tells their stories like my anonymous monday on my anonymous monday you have been hearing all these people's stories where these people have been pouring their hearts out there for you to understand that you are not alone just like in my interviews everyone and you know people might say especially people from Trinidad they might say that how oh 
why is he speaking about um, India and Bangladesh? They have flood as well or whatnot. Listen, I'm showing you, you are not alone. People all over the world, besides you alone, gets affected by these type of things. All right? And some people have it repeatedly as they rebuild, it happens again. They don't blame it on anyone. All right? So, again, I'm telling you guys, my Anonymous Monday stories, run back and look at that one. If you have missed any, look back at all. They're on YouTube and they're on Facebook. Go back and look at them. All right? You guys will be amazed by some of the stories who have never seen them. You will be amazed and blown away that the stories people tell. And these things are the reality of life and what's happening. All right? So, again, so speak to that person who has been in that relationship or giving you advice to don't have one, and you would see that they have some good stuff to tell you to be careful before you enter into that relationship, all right? So, you would hear this, this is a little quote I caught, sometimes we put up walls not to keep people out, but to see who cares enough to knock them down. Now, you're again, that person is single, right? And they're giving you all the bad advice you think it's there, right? Or all the bad advice you would think it's the worst. But they want to see how far you're going to go. Ask them questions. As I say, knock that wall down. They have that big barrier up. Even so, they don't know. Maybe you, they're thinking you're hitting on them. They don't know your story. Maybe they, you just want advice in a relationship that's in your life. All right? There's so much different ways that you can look at this. All right, guys? So I hope that answers that question for you. And let's jump into question number two. Hi, I've been watching your show. It's very interesting. Thanks for your time. I feel as though I have the support I need from loved ones. I feel as though my husband always know, knows it all. Even when I say something, he is quick to say yes. That is how it, it is or that is how it should be. But he don't support me to the point where something happens. Basically, he blames me for it. Even though he had no input in any way possible. Let's just say that something happened in my office and I came home and I'm telling him about it. He makes me feel it's my fault without hearing everything. I don't know what it is all about. I love him and I know he loves me, but this is the only big problem I have with him. If there's an argument, I'm at fault. Family problem, I'm at fault. He always finds it for me to be at fault. Well, this is how I see it. Can you tell me how do I make him see what he do to me? It hurts me sometimes. It pushes me away. And the only thing holds me together is the fact I know how much he loves me. Wow. That is really steep. Um, so your husband is blaming you for everything, right? Have you sat down with him and asked him what's this all about? Why everything that goes wrong is your fault? Have you ever done that? I think this is what you need to do. Okay, if you have done that and there's still no reasoning with him, then something is wrong. Because most of the time that a person tries to blame you is because they see a lot of faults in themselves. All right? They see a lot of things that's wrong with them or how they would do it. They don't trust themselves a lot. So... They figure out here, yeah, okay, that you did it wrong because it's your fault. That's not true. And someone keep blaming you. Are you sure they really loves you? Because you could say someone love you, but it's still pointing at you for every little thing. If your driving is bad or your cooking is bad or something like that, then something is really, really wrong. Think about that. If you really say that that person loves you that much, if the person really loves you that much, they wouldn't find a fault in you because if your relationship is however long, I don't know. But you should know to, to make things better by, by speaking to that person. And that person should never find a fault unless they see it happen in front of you. Oh, why don't you tell them, look, 
if something is about to happen and you think that is going to be my fault, I want you to point it out to me so you guys can have a discussion about it. All right? That's like one of the things. And you know, this is one of the great things I, I read about. And it says, it's a little quote I picked up. When you blame and criticize others, you are avoiding some truth about yourself. Exactly what I said. And some of the truths that you avoid about yourself is you are at fault somehow. You understand what I'm saying? Somehow you are at fault to be pointing fingers. Or maybe that person does something way better than you. Or that person multitasks better than you. But So now that you know it, somehow you are not able to do it exactly like that person now. And you'll be like, oh, this person should do it ex like you. And just take things one step at a time rather than how you will handle three, four different things. So when something happens now, they might blame you because it, they would think that you're rushing or trying to do something out of the way. But that's not true. You have to point out, I can do this. Make them understand, hey, you have to have trust in me, right? Because apparently that person is lacking something because something is wrong somewhere. Make that person understand and you would see how it goes, all right? I'm telling you, if you uh, have a discussion with this person and go through half of the things that they blame you for and you want to bet they come out and say oh i didn't blame you i'm i guarantee 100 percent because when you look back at things and that time passed and you yourself solved that that problem for that whole entire, entire situation even though you were in that scenario that your husband blamed you for right that person looks back at it and you guys talk about it you would see uh oh you know what happened? Yeah, I brought, he would realize himself. He blamed you, but guess what? It wasn't for something like that. At that time, he was scared, right? To know that you were doing the right thing and you were handling it the right way. But that person couldn't do it for themselves, all right? So, guys, I, I really hope you like that answer because I'm telling you, you need to sit and talk to your husband. I have another quote. Always blaming others. This shows negative self-esteem because you don't take your own blame of your own mistakes because you aren't comfortable with yourself enough to accept that it's your fault, right? Exactly what I explained. That person, they can't accept when they are wrong or they can't accept whole responsibilities for when they do something. So they prefer blame somebody so quickly. Hi, good night, Vicky. Hi, good night, Saeed. Shivani, my darling. Our question of the night is coming up. I'm so excited about it because you know what? Shivani, I know you don't want to come on on camera and give your interview about your fight, right? With rheumatoid arthritis, but tonight we'll talk about you a little bit, my dear. I love you. You know that. And thank you for always supporting me. Uh, Romaine, Xavier, Marissa, um, we have, who's a Leela? Good night. Hi, Lulu. I love you. Hi, Chaz. Okay, see, I got my both of them on there. My nephew, my niece, they're the sweetest. Hi, Vicky. Vicky, again, I'm calling out to all of you who are watching so far to make sure, click on the link and donate because we're going to put smiles on family faces. Donate. Vicky Ram Charita is a family that lost everything. And you know how this woman reacted to me? She told me she lost everything and she moved to her dad's house, right? And how she reacted to me was like, Ra, what are you going to do? Life is still there. She's still breathing. You understand? She got her life and they will rebuild. All right? And that's the spirit. I know you lost a lot and Ra got you. We do this GoFundMe. It's going to be successful. I believe in all of you. Click the link. Share it. Help others because we are about to help. We are about to help millions of people out there. All right, guys. So, Vicky, I got you. You know that. All right. So, <clears throat> question of the night. So, every one of you, how have your week been so far? It's the middle of the week. Hi, Megan. I see you logged in there. I can't wait to hang out with you again, honey. All right. So yes, every one of you, how was your week? 
Welcome to Questions, Opinions, Answers one more time for the night before we jump into the question of the night. Yes, tonight's show was nice. We had a question on relationship, another question on relationship. You know, I prefer I give my advice here rather than throw it on YouTube. You guys need to subscribe, like, comment on my YouTube and share. Share the love. Every week, it's at the same time on Facebook. When I log out, I see like 485 people have been viewing. I see like 500 and something that week before. You guys are doing great watching the show, knowing the knowledge I share for you. But I want you all to share my video, share the love. All right. The same love you're showing to me, share it. The love that you're waking up every morning, taking that breath of fresh air and saying thank you to the Supreme that I am alive today right? I want you to tell yourself, I love you because you have to love yourself before you go and you spread that happy aura. You guys remember the happy aura? Spread that love. You remember that bath, that spiritual bath that you washed away the negative and the toxic people from your lives? Yes, spread that. All of you tonight on Instagram, on YouTube, on Facebook. I want all of you to thank God for that breath that you're breathing right now. All right, guys, the question of the night is basically, has not really a question. We didn't know how to form to like send in a question, like how you guys do a great job sending in your little story questions. So it was basically a little discussion between Saeed and Shabani and myself. Uh, you know, we are like the little admin people here at Your Life Experiences of Trial. We don't have any managers and stuff, right? We are here for you guys. We are here to spread that love. And let me show you something, right? We, they, we had this little discussion and a question came up about people, people like younger people, let's say girls and guys, suffering with chronic illnesses, like, for example, rheumatoid arthritis, right? Now, when we use that in that sense, right? We they were talking about let's say in a girl's situation, like a guy, let's use Shivani, my cousin. Shivani, I'm sorry, I'm telling you a little part of your story of your life here. She had rheumatoid arthritis since she was sixteen. Alright? Now who doesn't know what is rheumatoid arthritis? It's an autoimmune um disease that affects your joints so it's basically like your body your immune system your defense that runs and, and, and attacks bacteria and like stuff like bacteria and viruses what it does it start attacking your joints it mistakenly attacks your joints right causing the tissue inside that between that makes these things all your joints move smoothly right it causes it to thicken and it causes the pain and the swelling in your joints. That's basically a little small thing on rheumatoid arthritis that I will give you. You can look it up. A lot of people suffer this. And since she was like 15 into 16, this child been suffering with it for the past 10 years and going. All right. She had two knee replacements. All right. Now I want to tell you all something. So the question was basically, would a guy really, how would a guy marry someone with like that? Oh, why a guy thinking about how would a guy have to really love Shivani to know tomorrow morning he's going to wake up with the love of his life and she's in so much of pain or oh, to see that person in excruciating pain and all there and you can't help that person would you stand there and look at that can you do that do you have the heart to stand there and hold on to her for that on days that she, you don't know, she can't roll off the bed or get up to do something for herself. Her fingers can't open or something like that. I'm just saying that she, Shivani is a trooper. All right. She is a trooper and she can do anything. Trust me. All right. For the past couple of weeks, she's been very sick with this. And, but she, and nothing keeps her back. I'm telling you guys, it, 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 it always hits her down, but she always keep coming. I'm telling you, you think when Shivani look back, you think she care about if anybody don't want to marry her or something like that? When she look back at 10 years, what she has been through, she don't care. All right. I know someone else who got married and, and from Bangladesh and they had a sickness, right? The people never even treated her with love and they, they, they left her. They got a divorce. And trust me, it's not a sickness that, I mean, to say it could be two people who love each other 
and is married into it will be there for each other. Trust me. But then you ask yourself, so the question was basically, in the norm of this, this age of this life, let's say a 25-year-old, 26-year-old, would they find a partner to love them and cherish them and go with them hand in hand with all this pain and whatever sufferings and whatever the virus is, or whatever the disease is? Uh, are you guys, the younger group, ready for this? And what would the person who has these things do? Well, the person who has it, like my girl Shivani, wouldn't care who love her or who wants to marry her. Her care is when to feel better and to get up every single day of her life pain-free. That's the most thing because she loves herself. Because she knows what she's been through. When a person is ill and battling some sort of disease or something, they need your support. And if you cannot support them, right, and be there to hold their hands through this, it don't make sense you being in their life. And I wouldn't want someone to be in my life who can't stand with me. If I get sick today and you decide, well, I, that's a long-term thing and I, I, I should be out of this. Yeah, do it early. Don't wait for me to start loving you more, depending on you and something happens. And I, I put myself that, okay, uh, rise there for me. And then, boom. Ra decides, oh, I can't take this no more. I can't handle being wrong you because you have rheumatoid arthritis or something. And I can't handle you being all crumpled up or you can't walk next morning. Your knees are swollen. I can't handle that no more. Okay, so exit early. You know, you hear something wrong with someone. If you don't have the heart to stand with them, and I have seen... We have seen millions of videos on Facebook. The front vi videos where people, millions of us, has viewed it. Where... You would see people with some sort of disease and they're getting married because they love that person and they don't care if it's five days or one day they have to spend with that person. You know, one of my friends always says, and, and you know, good night to you, Vijay. Vijay Prasad, I met way back, I think in 2001 or two or something like that on Instagram chat. And we became very good friends and our family became friends and whatnot. He just celebrated his birthday. So I just want to say a happy belated birthday to you, VJ. You're a good friend. You always reside in my heart. Sometimes we don't communicate as much, but you're a good friend of mine, right? Now, I think it's wrong with VJ. I just wanted to call him out because I always keep promising him, hey man, I'm going to call you out, right? So yes, so way back then, uh, it was only messenger and we grew with time until he came to america he was from originally from trinidad and whatnot i wanted to say happy birthday to you i know it's scorpio month now everyone yes it's scorpio month people i'm not finished with the handsome versa i just got thrown off by reading some of the comments and i got a little thrown off there so i remember vj and i wanted to give him a shout out and you know one person that helped change my life too a lot was one of my friends and he says don't call his name but he knows who he is and i just wanted to say you know how much i love you from my heart we uh he has changed and shown me how to be stronger in my life trust me when i tell you all this right and this person i told him tonight i'm gonna talk about you on my show all right he's on vacation right now in hawaii so he knows who i'm speaking of god bless you and thank you so much for all that you have done in my life and thank you for making me stronger all right so yes do these people care Oh, if they ever get married or if anybody will ever love them, whether you're a guy or girl. No, I know these young people don't care because they just want to be happy and want to rid of that sickness or whatever. Think about my cousin, my dear Shivani, my person, my boo. She got two surgeries year after year. And one of those surgeries, her first surgery, a couple of weeks later because of, of painkillers she was on, she missed her step and she fell and broke her femur right there and then so she had double surgery right so think about what this disease has done to her and the next year again so she had 2015 2016 two ruined christmases you understand but she's a trooper you think is she care if you love her or not or she cares if someone would marry her no these these people with these type of diseases and these type of sicknesses or virus or whatever, like our girl with HIV last week, she's no different from Shivani. Shivani is battling a disease like that, and she's battling with a virus that at least everyday life 
you can move on and you can live a longer life with the type of the type of medications we have with advanced medi medications. Last week, I forgot to mention as well, there is prevention for HIV, but you still have to use a condom. It's called PrEP. Those of you who don't know about it, please look up it, especially those people who have multiple partners and sleep around a lot. At least use a condom together with PrEP and you would see how it works for you protects you from HIV. If you happen to meet someone with HIV, even self, if the condom bursts or something, you can, it helps prevent it if you continuously on prep. All right, look into it. It's a pill called Travada. Now, again, so I hope you guys like my answer for that. It's already 7.49. I don't want to run into too long with my show, but I love that question. You know what? Your life experiences with Ra, we come to give you the best. And we come together. If I don't know the answer for something like last week, I made sure I spoke to someone in the field of HIV that I, I you know, this is what I want to say. And, you know, I go back. Like today, I spoke to a friend who's a psychologist and she about some of the relationship things. And she says, Ra, I discuss and I say what I have, my personal opinion, my personal best answer. And I say, this is how I feel towards a question. And she says, Ra, I wouldn't have done something differently. I wouldn't have said something differently. And I feel good. I feel good that I can give you give you that and I can give you something to push for because I know not just one person has a relationship issue a lot of people has these issues all right it's not just you and a person who being blamed all the time it's not one person being blamed a person being in a cheating relationship is not one person being in a cheating relationship a person with rheumatoid arthritis is not just one person with it because I have two friends I have a other friend as well Billy he's suffering with it as well I worked with him for a while back in insurance as well again you guys need any insurance you guys know to check Ra and people in Queens now again every one of you please before the show finishes tonight click on that GoFundMe link we are asking for five dollars one dollar for friends with four friends gives you five dollars so you and four more of your friends one dollar each please guys I'm begging you guys, let's put a smile on people's face. Not to finish at $5. Who can put more? Please put as much as you can because the money is not for Ra. Uh, all right? Vicky Ram Charta, I got you. You know that. And I told you all already. All who knows, I got you all. And we will select people that needs it. All right? And again, guys, I just want to tell you all, thank you so much for all my fans. But if you have missed one episode go back and look all my episodes connect all right i just spoke a little briefly on hiv because last week we had that anonymous monday on hiv anonymous monday remember in the am on mondays we have a beautiful story coming this monday you guys would love it it's a twist it's spicy yes so Go back and listen to that story. Anonymous Monday has been connecting with the QOA session. So the HIV story on the Anonymous Monday last week connected with the QOA's question, opinions, answers last Wednesday with a girl with HIV. All right. So all of you here tonight, please go back, like, share, hit that share button right now share this it's right there just click share and some of you have been missing my videos because you didn't like the page you didn't follow the page click on the right hand corner on those three little dots and you would see it say follow and it has first look as well so you can get it it'll give you a little alert boom 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 rise online he's saying something something is up come on guys get on it all right like the page follow the page share the page share my videos comment like share the love just like how Ra loves you all. All right, guys? You know, this is QOA Wednesdays. This is Ra, and I love you all.